I'm just making this quick video to show this kind of scale ruler that I built. It's very rough, but it does get you a good idea to keep things in proportion, proportional sizes. Um, and the way it works is whatever, this is a, 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 an Instagram post size, so it's a square size. Whatever size I want my elements to be in here, I would scale the ruler up. And what I mean by that is, is let's say uh, I wanted things to be, you know, four foot, you know. So I would just scale this ruler up so that four foot, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So four foot is kind of like at the top right here. So everything in here now, well, let me get it right. Everything in here now will be about four feet tall, right? Um, and the great thing about this is, is that once things are four feet tall, then I can just slide this over and I could use this little, these circles here. It's kind of has my, your different elements here for your sizes, um, for your balloons. You could drop your balloons in here and kind of get a really good idea how big they'll be on, on, you know, on a couch or on a, stand or on an arch or whatever so here i'll show you real quick what i mean by that so if i were to bring in let's bring in a uh stand i think i just uploaded there, there so if we bring this in and we know these are four oh we're guessing these are four feet i know they come in different sizes so let's just say this one's four feet right and i'm going to size this down a little bit just so we can see what I would do is I would set the bottom of this to the bottom and I would bring this down and then I would size this down to four foot. So there's my, there's my stand. And now if I bring this over here, I can now kind of use my guide to get close with the balloons in proportion to this hoop. So if I bring in a balloon now and I size this balloon down to six inches, which is this middle circle, so these six inch balloons would be about this size on this hoop. And like I said, it's just a guide. It's not for perfect measurements and I wouldn't use it to, to uh, dial in scaling for your project, but it's a great way to get really close. Um, the very important thing to remember is once you size the ruler for your, for your, your mock-up, you can't change the size of the ruler because that'll change all the scaling. Um, now, and the other thing to keep in mind is that if you're doing stuff in depth, like I build stuff, I build a lot of stuff in depth. What does that mean? That means that I would, like, let's say I was going to work this stand into my, into my project. I'm just going to throw just a couple balloons here just to fill up this ring real loosely. So let's say I had these, uh, these balloons on here on this ring and I was going to put this ring in the background. I would size it down and put it in the back. And then I would have another one that maybe was down in front that looked bigger because it was closer to you. You can do that. Um, just something to keep in mind is that scale either the, the front or the back and then, just, and then just rough in the other one. Meaning, so if you kept this front one at four feet, right? So let's say I kept this one at four feet. This back one, I would just guess about how big it would be. And once again, this is not perfect science because this is just a mock-up and it's just a relative thing of what's going on. So I would just kind of make this a little smaller and I would put it back here. And the reason I do stuff like this is this just gives me depth. Uh, if you've seen my other small demos of mock-ups, you would see that I like to do things this way because it just gives a little more uh, you know, life to what's going on. And then, of course, your floor would come in and then your curtains would come in. So if I were to add a curtain um, to this, uh, let me do it this way. Uh, yeah, they're called drapes here. I actually changed the names to curtains now. This is an old, uh, an old thing. Um, if I were to add this in here, you would see that I would add it way back up in here. Um, and the reason for that is, is that now it gives this this illusion that there's depth to this. So these this set this set would be down here somewhere. And this one would be, let me lock this, make this smaller. Kind of like that. And then this would be back here somewhere. So you see now already it gives this illusion that this is in front and this is in back. And that's kind of what I was talking about. So um, I hope that helps you out a little bit. Uh, very just a couple key points. If once you size the ruler to where you want it to be, 
kind of leave it where it's at. Don't resize and then adjust your image, your stuff inside here. Um, here's a little one last quick tip. I would put the ruler on a different page um, because you don't want it to be all in, all in your way. Uh, once you get it sized, here, I'll show you. Once you get it sized, let's say that's the size it's going to be. I'm just taking a guess here. I can copy it, delete it, and then paste it on this new page, and it will paste in the correct size. And the reason I do this is so that when I'm working on this page, it's not in my way. I don't have to keep locking it. I don't want to keep it moving around. And then if I just need to make a new like a new size balloon, um, like let's say this heart, and the heart is going to be, we'll just take a guess here. Let me move this out of the way. Um, and the heart's going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be a 12-inch mylar balloon which is going to be inside the green i'll just come right over here size it to the green circle and like i said it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be close there and then i'll just copy it and delete it and i can paste it up here and then there you go there you have a balloon that is uh 12 inches and compared to everything else and of course right now my scaling is all off because i resized the ruler but i was just showing you how that would work if you put it on a different page all right let me know if you have any questions uh I'll be doing some more videos soon uh, and get you guys some more, uh, more tips and tricks for uh, doing stuff in Canva with mockups.